सो हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज गेट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू लाइफ साइंसिस सेक्शन एस माइक्रोबायोलॉजी क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटी नाइन द साइट ऑफ फोटो सिंथिस इन साइनो बैक्टीरिया इज डैश ए क्लोरोप्लास्ट बी क्रोमैटोफोर्स सी थाइलापोइट्स एंड डी क्लोरोजोम्स दिस इज द एन पी टी एल ऑनलाइन कोर्स रेफरेंस ओके सो we all know that uh, cyanobacteria is uh, cyanobacteria is a part uh, comes under the phylum bacterium okay uh, phylum monera it is a bacteria it is also commonly known as uh, blue green algae right uh, it is also commonly known as blue green algae it is a bacteria and uh, they uh, uh, cyanobacteria along with other phytoplanktons they uh, make about uh, one third of the oxygen uh, oxygen supply to the whole planet okay they make about the one third of oxygen supply to the whole planet so these are the photosynthetic organisms okay these are the simple bacteria and they uh, make about one third of the oxygen supply of the whole um, ecosystem okay so so in general bacteria so we'll uh, first begin with the uh, simple photosynthesis so generally uh, as you can see here there are in plants there are different organelles we have chloroplast we have mitochondria peroxisomes nucleus and vacuoles for various uh, storage molecule okay and there is and then we have cytoplasm so uh, glycolysis amino acid biosynthesis on all this pathways majorly glycolysis amino acid biosynthesis and di different alkaloid biosynthesis occurs in the chloroplast okay these pathways all occur in the chloroplast whereas in mitochondria we have a tca cycle so this is a common tca cycle between plants as well as in animals and all and uh, every all the tca cycle like um which uh, tca cycle which generates which fixes the carbon dioxide right it occurs in the mitochondria in animal cell also it occurs in the mitochondria in plant cell also it occurs in the mitochondria okay then uh, there are other types of reactions which occur in er and nucleus and there are various reaction which also occur in Cy cytoplasm also so glycolysis occurs mainly in the chloroplast in the lumen of chloroplast and in the cytoplasm uh, in the cytosol also right so in animal cell glycolysis occurs in the cytosol right and in plant cell also glycolysis occur in cytosol as well as in the lumen of chloroplast okay so um in plants what happened we have in plant what happens we have Uh, uh this so this is a structure of chloroplast right this is a structure of chloroplast this is the outer membrane inner membrane we have uh, in uh, in uh, the uh, inner membrane space then we have a lumen and this lumen is known as stroma this is a lumen uh, of cy uh, chloroplast and we have this uh, stack like structures known as thylakoid this is very important so all the um light reactions in which the light is fixed okay the light is fixed um, and we generate oxygen okay as a by product these all occurs in the thylakoid okay this all occurs in the thylakoid and where thylakoid is located it is located inside chloroplast okay in plants this occurs in plants okay so um so in chloroplast we have thylakoids this uh, coin like structures which are stacked upon each other and each thylakoid contains all the um enzymes related to fix um uh, uh, utilizes light all the enzymes related for the light reaction okay so light uh, energy is used to fix um the um organic molecules okay so we all know the z cycle of uh, electron transport chain so in the in light reactions this electron transport chain finally gives us h2o 
and this uh, electron in presence of electron right when the h2o it gives us hydrogen and water molecule uh, hydrogen and oxygen molecule okay this is the oxygen molecule gas which is released from the plants and this generates nadph reducing power we get reducing power and atp it is utilized for the carbon fixation reactions okay so this is dark reaction and these are the light reaction okay so if we divide this these are the dark reactions and these are the light reaction these are light dependent reaction and the dark, dark reactions so in the dark reactions we utilize the nadph reducing power and atp to fix environmental carbon dioxide okay this is carbon fixation environmental carbon dioxide this is carbon fixation right the carbons are fixed into uh, the carbon the co2 is fixed into sugars fatty acid and amino acid required for the plants these are all interconnected okay the metabolic uh, pathways in plants so this is the overall of a photosynthetic scheme and the um, the carbon uh, cycle the carbon cycle of plants okay so we know that uh, chloroplast are the major source of the photosynthetic uh, reactions and in chloroplast who is responsible mainly um, thylakoids okay okay then uh, we have this cyanobacteria so this is the structure of cyanobacteria okay so cyanobacteria is a single cell it is a bacterium it is a single cell single cell and it has a inner membrane outer membrane it has a cell wall right it is a single cell it has a cell wall and uh, uh, and what are the characteristic of a bacteria they don't have a membrane they do, there is no compartmentalization right no compartmentalization right no compartmentalization and there are no membrane bound organelles right because uh, there is no no there is no compartmentalization because uh, there are no membrane bound organelles so there is nucleoid dna everything is encapsulated in the single uh, in this single cell right so here we have in cyanobacteria there are there is no such thing as chloroplast we directly have a thylakoids here okay these are the thylakoids so in uh, chloroplast we had thylakoids stacked above each other right thylakoid was a separate organelle and therein we had uh, chloroplast was a separate organelle and then we had a thylakoid disc like this here in cyanobacteria there is no chloroplast okay in cyanobacteria there is no chloroplast and we have organelles just thrown inside this cyanobacteria without any compartmentalization okay this is very important so um so we all know about this uh, endosymbiotic theory like uh, so uh, many like 4 billion years ago it was uh, uh, around 4 billion years ago when there was a single bacteria like right? there was a single cell so uh, there is one theory that we have a single ancestor single ancestor cell right this is the uh, full form for single ancestor cell and then from the, uh, the that single ancestor cell and this single ancestor cell was found to evolve it was found to evolve um uh, by uh, it was found to evolve by enclosing all this uh, small molecules inside right and it started replicating it started replicating and it had many uh, it had many progenies okay and over the years uh, this cell one of the uh, one of the progeny from this cell it encountered this bacteria okay it encountered this bacteria and they started engulfing this bacteria okay they started engulfing this bacteria and over the period of years uh, it is it is proposed that uh they started engulfing this bacteria uh, by process just like how amoeba does it just like our phagocytosis same process engulfment and over the period of years uh, these bacteria started becoming dormant they became dormant in the cell and then the these further evolved into the formation of these organelles like mitochondria mitochondria and chloroplast 
सो माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया इज प्रेजेंट बोथ इन प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स राइट इट इट इज प्रेजेंट इन बोथ प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट प्रेजेंट इन बोथ प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स सो इट इज हाइपोथिसाइज दैट द फर्स्ट और दिस सेल फर्स्ट एनगल्फ्ड माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया and uh, among those cell few of them uh, engulfed chloroplast also uh, so engulfed cyanobacteria okay and then these cyanobacteria further evolved over the period of years and they then became uh, chloroplast like organelles and mitochondria like organelles okay so um, and why uh, what are the uh, what are the uh, facts which supports this hypothesis hypothesis cyanobacteria is a has a cell wall and it is a it has a outer membrane and inner membrane right so even in chloroplast as you can see there was a outer membrane and inner membrane similarly in mitochondria also we have a outer membrane and we have a inner membrane and then there is the lumen of mitochondria then there is a lumen so where there is a outer membrane there is a inner membrane and the lumen okay so these are the few um, facts that the cell evolved so uh, those cells who engulfed chloroplast they further evolved into being plants like uh, uh, they further e evolved to being plants and the cells which evolved uh, which engulfed mitochondria they further became animal cells okay so this is how this is the endosymbiotic theory okay uh and another facts that uh, the chloroplast and mitochondria are the same the sizes are same as that of the bacteria okay the size is also same as that of the bacteria and um, and you can see uh, that uh, mitochondria and both chloroplast have their own dna okay uh, this is very important fact that both all both this organelles mitochondria and uh, mitochondria and chloroplast they have their own dna right and they code for few proteins in the inner membrane proteins okay for uh, for uh, for um, so they code for the proteins few proteins and other proteins are coded by the whole new, uh, whole uh, cell genome but uh, the dna is encoding the proteins required for chloroplast and mitochondria okay and uh, another uh, fact is they have um, so they have a dna they uh, they have their own replication machinery and they have um, own protein machinery and the ribosomes so uh, the animal ribosomes the uh, prokaryotic ribosomes and eukaryotic ribosomes are different right so mitochondria and chloroplast both have 30s and 50s ribosomes right and 30s and 50s ribosome as we all know are found in prokaryotes right they are found in prokaryotes whereas animals a uh, eukaryotic cell any eukaryotic cell has a 40s and 60s ribosome right right so um so it was found it was a um, so these are the few facts which supports that there was a uh, original cell which engulfed primitive microbes uh, and these primitive microbes were capable of having whole electron transport chain like that we seen in mitochondria and uh, they had and the um, and, and they engulfed the uh, this uh, cyanobacteria which is capable of uh, capable of uh, using Uh, sun light energy to okay and and create energy reducing power by using light energy they create nadph nadph and atp using light okay so a cyanobacteria doesn't have a chloroplast okay it itself is a hypothesized to be a chloroplast so coming back to the question uh so uh, don't go for this option this is a tricky little bit tricky question so cyanobacteria is a bacteria it doesn't have any chloroplast okay 
and uh, most of the photosynthesis takes place in thylakoids okay and these have thylakoids so the correct answer is 